in Blackpool and it's really fun so far. Um, it, we've had two sunny days and we've just been to Pleasure Beach yesterday. It was awesome. We've been to the Blackpool Tower which is under construction right now and we're just having a bit of a walk. Have a look! Our hotel in Blackpool was straight across the road from the sea and the building was over 150 years old and surrounded by churches, which my mum dragged me around photographing them all. They all started looking the same after a while, and I wondered if we had been walking around in circles. We also saw some random sculptures and houses that must have been owned by some really, really interesting people. We also saw Tudor style houses and some amazing lead coloured windows. And of course the seaside. After days and days of walking up and down piers and the streets that were filled with poker machine arcades and lots and lots of food and Blackpool Tower being closed and all. Well, we headed south. Blackpool's capital of fun. Drum roll, please. Well, maybe not. Yes, we had finally made it to Pleasure Beach. If it is well worth getting on Christmas so you can go on as many rides as possible, and seeing as how we went on a weekday when most kids were at school, there were no lines at all. Pleasure Beach is home to roller coasters. The legendary Big Dipper, Grand National, and the Big One, which is Europe's biggest, meanest, scariest roller coaster. A carton of chips and gravy, and a couple of cokes later, I conquered my fears and rode on the Big One. I kid you not, it was the best experience of my life, one I'll never forget. I'll be telling the great news about. The view from the top was amazing. Well, it should have been. We were 300 feet above ground, but not for long because we were plummeted down within a second. I spent the day on rides and wished we could have just gone back the next day. Seriously, six months in Blackpool and only one day in Pleasure Beach? <laughs> Those numbers don't stack up for me. Or any could come to think of it. Blackpool may look like it hasn't seen a can of paint since the 80s. And um, look more like a haven for pokey players. But Pleasure Beach makes it all worthwhile. And yes, I think I can honestly say it might be worth dragging my own kids there one day. Just for the great experience that I had. It's really cool.